Hello, and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Steve and Adam Show with Steve and Adam. And Adam. What's up, Steve? How much, Adam? How about yourself? Oh, just, just hanging in there, having a great Friday night with my buddy. Oh, yeah. Hearing that. Yeah. Hearing that. We're, we're up to, what, third video for the night. That's, that's yeah. pretty damn good. I know. I like it. It's good. We're doing all the fun yep. mobile devices. Um, the truth is... Um, Steve talked me into buying some cool new uh, video uh, tech. Um, so I've got a yes. Stream Deck over here, and I've got an ATEM Mini Pro, uh, yep. and and I've got these all of these phones, and I got an Android um, that I bought to play around with the Windows 365 thing, which we're not going to do tonight because we don't have a demo yep. machine to show you. But someday, maybe. Uh, so yes, um, if we get a lot of like comments, maybe comment on this one. Uh, so that we can send this to the powers that be at Microsoft. See, people want to see this, to see the Windows 365 on the on the uh, I, I Android. Think, I think they know people phone. want to see it. Um, I know, but I want to show. I want to be the one who shows it. You know, that's the really we'll, deal. Here. We'll, we'll get there. We'll yeah. be there. Um, so anyway, uh, that's what we're doing. We're ha having fun. Um, so we've done some iOS devices, and now we're yep. moving on to Android. So yes. when we did our original Android video, we um, covered the corporate owned um, uh, with Let's uh, just bring it up on work the screen profile. To give the work. Yeah. No, no, without the work profile. What we did is if we go to Android, uh, uh, Android yeah. enrollment. I'll get there eventually. I'm very excited. That's okay. Uh, and then it was corporate owned, fully managed, fully managed user, user devices. devices. So that was the so first one that we did. Saying, yep. Go ahead. And that gives you the ability to manage the applications that are installed and have full control over that. By default, the users don't have access to the Google Play Store, but you can enable that, which we went through in the last video, I'm pretty sure. Um, so today, we're going to go and talk about work profiles because this is what you should be doing for Androids. It is brilliant. I love it. I use it extensively myself because it is just brilliant cannot rate it highly enough because at the end of the day i just turn off my work profile and i do not get any notifications until i turn it back on now steve before we get into this so just for my yes clarification and for those of us who not done this before um mm -hmm. so you know i'm looking at this saying all right if my company's buying these phones and i'm paying yep. for the data plan and i want to keep track Definitely. of this device and i want to know that this is yep. my asset this sure doesn't feel like the the one that i want to no. do uh, That's it correct. feels like I would probably still want to go this route. Definitely, definitely. That That is what we'd be saying. That's the recommended route, right? Um, the downside of that with the corporate-owned devices with work profile is you just need to make sure that the profile outside of that work profile bubble is the user has the ability to go and install things. Otherwise, you're managing two phones, basically, for the price of one. Gotcha. Um, so it, it just comes down to how you approach it and everything around that. But, but would this give me more control over the device from a, like a wipe yes. perspective and a lost mode yep. or lock it and all of that kind of stuff? Correct. Okay. Correct. So it's, it's going to give you device level control, whereas work profile it gives you container level control. So think of work profile as a container running on that device. Um, so that's why you need to install the applications multiple times. So you can install Outlook on your device outside of the work profile and have that connected to your personal email, personal everything. And then inside the work profile, it is only your work email address in there. And so the difference between these two then would just be the, the, the containerization to, work profile. to be able yep. to turn on and off work profile on a corporate Correct. owned device. Gotcha. Correct. Okay. So, um, so, yep. For the purpose of today's video, we're going to go through this one because this is the one yep. that should be the easiest and simplest for you to do. Um, maybe we'll and revisit these at another point. If you find that, you know, leave us a comment. Let us know. Most by your end users. <laughs> yeah, work profile is going to be hugely appreciated by your end users. Yeah. So let us know if you want to see any of the other ones, but we're going to go this route for now. Yep. Um, so there's nothing to configure here. And all we uh, need... You might want to zoom that in a little bit there, Adam, just if we can. And we'll just talk through that text, what we're saying we need to do. So personal devices um, are, are there. And then 
at the enrollment of a personal own device with work profile, it will go and create and enable that work profile. You just need to ensure that you have the correct configuration for platform restrictions and enrollment restrictions. In this scenario, it's block Android device enrollment, which you should be doing anyway. Um, and also Android device administrator enrollment. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, and uh, you want to make it so you can do personal with work profile. So you, <clears throat> yeah. So let's go there. So and check yep. it out. Um, so we just go back one level, or we can go all the way back to the top. We go to Android, Android enrollment, and then we scroll down all the way to the bottom, and we're going to go platform restrictions. Okay. So we've previously set this up, I believe, from memory. Um, where we're blocking personal, but it's not assigned to anybody. So if we go here, um, it's just not assigned to any users. And you've got allow block. So we're saying we're still blocking the personal devices. Uh, let's see. We've but got we've not assigned it to anyone. Right but we're going to go and change it in the default one. And we're going to edit it here. Uh, we're going to block Android device administrator because you should be doing that in your tenant either way. Um, and we're going to block uh, Android Enterprise. Oh, no. We can leave both of these, right? Yeah. Yeah. As long as this one yeah. is enabled, this is the one we're looking That's for. That's right. The yeah. only way this one will trigger is if we um, is it, upload the, the device five, identifiers five or if we use the five taps. Yep. That's correct. So if we do the, the corporate device identifiers, does that only do Android device administrator then? Yeah, so device administrators for anything, any Android device that is before Android 11. Right, okay. Because I know that there is the device, like the, the you can do the corporate device identifiers thing. Um, wasn't yes. sure which, which platform that specifically I think applied to. That is um, Android Enterprise. Okay. All right. I'm so I'm sure Leon's sitting there and screaming at us, but that's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we did do this long ago. Leon really helped yes. uh, greatly on that one. Um, okay. So, uh, so we've we've done that. We've gone through and set yep. the settings, and that should be all we need to do. So, should all um, be all we need to do. So, okay. we're going to go across to Adam's mobile phone here. Okay. And now, the easiest way. Where you go. Uh, so I've already got my phone set up. I've got yep. um, apparently got no signal coming from it, though. All right. Stand by. Come on. So close. Can I just disconnect. Reconnect. Come on, OBS. Um, Let me out here. Sometimes this happens. Just bear with us. OBS doesn't like me for some reason. All this cool new tech, and I'm struggling on day one here. Still no. Okay, I'm gonna close OBS. Try again. Just bear with us, viewers. We will be up and running shortly. Oh, this was so seamless and cool. I know, and it will be in a second. You think I would have caught that? That it's that that screen's been frozen for two hours, apparently. <laughs> yep. My bad. Uh, so while Adam's going through that, let's go and quickly have a look uh, at the portal and what we're actually doing here. So if I just jump over here, um, we can go into uh, the devices when we have that Android device. Oh, it was so simple, Steve. What was it? Uh, oh, I disconnected the HDMI from the adapter. <laughs> that 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 would be it. That would definitely do it. Um, Whoops! So professional. Um, so, what I have set up here as well is a fuzzy screen. All right, I am good to go. All right. Let's go over to Adam then. Okay. So 
I've got my phone set up, signed in. I've got Play Store install, or um, I've got a, a Google Play account. And so yep. I'm going to go and grab Company Portal. Cool. It's actually, is it Company Portal or is it in the Intune, Intune app? Uh, Intune, okay, Company it's Intune Portal. Company Portal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't want to add a... Mm. Now, I potentially could optionally add Authenticator if this was going to be my primary device. Um, exactly. I don't believe that I need to have Authenticator on here to make no, this you work. No, you shouldn't. Adam at. So one thing you'll need to do, Adam, is, and I'll do it for you. Unshare my screen because it's going to show uh, you. I'll just I'm... hit it. And let me know when you're ready to go back across. So... Apple's really good in the sense that it hides that password, but uh, Android doesn't yet. Just for reference. Good to know. I was going to check. I, I thought that was the case on this. So. Yep. Okay. Shoot. You ready? Uh, almost. Uh, try again. Request denied. Oh, I fat fingered the, the the no, this is not me button. Good work, Adam. Um, man, holding up my iPhone next to the Android, the screen uh, color is significantly different. Okay, so um, uh, here we go. And uh, so I'm just, uh, it tells me the things we can and can't see on here. Let's set up your work profile. View terms. Indeed. IT Let's... admin can monitor and manage settings, corporate access, apps, permissions, data, all these things. Contact your IT admin assistance okay here we go setting up your work profile in case you're wondering i'm using the wonderfully sleek and cool new think phone i can't go the right way cool I'm connected to all these wires and cables the think phone yes. so that's ready Very to nice. next there adam yep uh, and that's going to step through and it's going to connect in uh, what it'll actually do in the background is it should go and download, well, enable uh, the company portal, oh, sorry, the work profile container and then install the company profile in there as well, a uh, company portal in there. Oh, I have a little um, briefcase in the upper right-hand corner. Yep. Now. As, yep. That's by design. So that briefcase that's up in the in the upper right hand corner is telling us that there's a work profile there. So now you'll see that we've activated the work profile, we've created it, and now it's all complete. We hit got it, and you'll see that we um, it's all there, and everything is running. So you'll see that Adam Android for work is registered. But what we can do is if you pull down the top, Adam, for me, so pull your slide down from the top uh, all the way down and you'll see that work apps just got added there. If you hit that work apps option and then we go uh, back, what you'll see is the company portal is actually not open anymore. And you'll see that the Intune app on the desktop isn't there. To use that, you have to turn on work apps. Um, but you as an admin now can go in and manage all of the apps that are deployed into that work profile container. So you can say, well, now I want to go and deploy uh, Outlook into that work container, uh, in the work profile container, and it'll do everything you need. It's pretty cool, right? Um, but the important thing is, I don't then have access to any of the systems locally. So... We could demonstrate that by going uh, and installing uh, Word or something like that. Uh, the interesting thing is, if we go back to the main menu there, Adam, so hit the round circle, um, I think it is, from this phone. Uh, no, slide up then, sorry. Uh, and you'll see here we have personal and work. If you go to work and then you go to Play Store, you'll see that there's no apps there because we haven't published any apps Ooh, we should to that work one. profile. We should, let's go, but let's go do that. we'll get there. Come on. Yes. Publish. But if we hit back, 
real quickly if you hit files for me the other cool thing here is hit continue yes or allow um, this is only files on my local device so you'll see that there's internal storage but i shouldn't have access to what's on the local device unless i explicitly say yes allow me access um, it's pretty cool it is pretty cool i dig it uh, um so sorry. we get there we just swipe up from the bottom and we go personal and work and so then so then all i have to do is swipe back down and i can turn off my work apps yep. and when i come back here and swipe up work apps is off Tendle. yep that's neat and so then that means that after hours i can say all right i'm off log yep. out and i i I'm, i don't have to sign out of my apps or any of that kind of stuff my correct teams don't have to things, turn so my can, phone off so i can use teams over here for yes. personal and then i can have correct. a different copy of teams running that yep. is set up under my work profile correct um, now, correct me if I'm wrong. We don't have the conditional access set up, I believe, to force you into work profile right now, but you can force your users to go across and do that. So question here is then um, in my inside of my work profile, does this mean yes. that then, and this is what I think this is what you were alluding to before. So I don't have the ability to go and install anything nope. inside of my work profile that my company has not explicitly deployed into the work profile for me or, or, or published to the work profile from inside the Play Store. That is correct. Um, and so what you were saying before, when we're looking at the corporate, corporate owned uh, work profile is where I'm going to have to if I'm not careful, I potentially would have to manage curating the list of apps that you can see in your personal, yes. your personal uh, play store, as well as the corporate work or your work profile play store as well. Um, That's correct. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so what we're going to do quickly do Adam is I'm going to flip over to my screen. Okay. Uh, and let's go through the process of assigning that application as available for you. So it's just a matter of going here and now were these apps, uh, we, these were, we've gone into the Google play store yeah. and the Google yep. admin center, whatever it's previously, previously right? Through, yep. yep. Okay. That's correct. Yep. Um, so if we go to Microsoft outlook, we're going to use that as our demo application. We then go to our assignments and from here we can say available for enrolled devices, which is going to include your work profile account it won't it won't apply to the local device because we we don't we're not managing it so we add um and i'm going to go in here and wait for it to search it's a little bit slow we're going to select licenses because we know that that has our accounts in it we're going to review and save and we're going to save that what adam should see pretty quickly if he goes in there um uh, is it should see in the uh managed google play store uh it will, should start showing up outlook um, when we refresh um, okay, let's see if we can get it to do anything yep so what you might need to do adam is uh hit the other oh, no didn't pop up so hit the company portal and and do a check-in yeah well and, and yes and close the uh store app and the play store app in the work profile sorry for my poor navigation skills folks i do i'm not an android user um but i play one on youtube apparently um, yeah. So this will go through. It's just checking the settings. But what should happen pretty quickly um, is now if we go back, we should hopefully see it in the Play Store. Maybe we did uh, it wrong. No, not yet. That's okay. It will get there. Um, but note that it's saying uh, in the account that it's actually... Uh, not your user account, but like a random work account. Oh, there it goes. Uh, cool. Showed up. Now it's appeared. 
So now we can go and install that. And you'll note that that only installs into the work profile, not into the base phone. Uh, and the reason for that is because you need to have two versions of the app. So if you're going to push tens and tens and hundreds of apps to that device, um, make sure that it's actually got enough space to run it. But you'll note that there's now a briefcase on top of that Outlook app on the desktop. Uh, and if we drop the other Outlook app onto the desktop from the Microsoft folder, Say that again. Yeah. Uh, if, if we hit the Microsoft grouping, uh, you'll see there's the two, uh, just hmm. click off that. Um, oh, so it's, it sees it there. It's just not installing. That's correct. Okay. Because it, it's a it's a temporary file. Yep. So if you gra uh, drag that and put it next to the oh, other. Oh, sorry. I got what you're saying. Sorry. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. All good. So you'll see that there's two different versions of the same file there or the same app. One has a briefcase and one doesn't. If we go and sign into the one with briefcase with Adam at Intune Training, which we won't do because there's some stuff in there that we might not necessarily want seen, um, it will be different to what we have in the one without the briefcase. Yep. Um, and then if we just turn off the Pretty word cool, profile, right? then that one goes away. Yep. And so it sounds very much like you know, this is a, it's a great feature. Um, it just, we I think it requires, excuse me, just a little bit of uh, user education on the differences on, you know, how it works, uh, turning yeah. on and off that profile. But I think ultimately it gives you um, a ton of, uh, you know, control over what's happening on the device. Um, I know that on the, on iOS, you can do, they have profile types now, but they're not nearly as elegant as this. Um, no. You know, you can you can set Outlook to be in work mode or personal mode, but you have to very explicitly put things in and out of the things, and it's not nearly as 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 seamless as this. So this is very cool. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Like, I have both devices, and very much the Android process is a lot more intuitive than what you're getting with um, outside business hours. And, and think of this, especially if you have a lot of shift workers working in your organization, having this ability to go, I'm end of shift, I'm turning off my work emails, that's going to be a game changer from a mentality point of view. So I think the so answer is probably no, but is there a way to plug, to put your phone number into the work profile? So you have a work phone and it gets turned off when you turn off work I apps? I don't believe so, unfortunately. Uh, that would be fantastic. It would be cool. I'd agree. It'd probably but kill also, the whole after-hour support, you know, like when you're on call, yeah. you don't really want that happening either. Uh, potentially it would work, though, depending on how you register the phone number to the device. So mm -hmm. I've not tested it. Test it and put it in the comments. Yeah, let us know if you if that's a thing we can do. That'd be yep. neat. Um, okay, so so we've gone through this mode. Um, yep, that's probably good for now. Um, if you so. if you want to see the other types, uh, the the corporate owned work profile um, or the kiosk one, the the fully man or the whatever the other one was called, um, fully managed. Just too many options because we did corporate yep. owned, fully managed. No, that's we right. We've done corporate owned, fully managed. So basically. The other two scenarios. Uh, oh, sorry. Corporate owned dedicated was the one I was suggesting. So the dedicated yeah. kiosk one. Yeah. Um, so the dedicated one is is very niche, but it's it's think of it as your wayfinding boards, digital signage, things like that. Yeah. Um, We've got a use case where it's, use we it. do uh, digital e-permitting where we give an Android yeah. tablet out and that's all it does is just you go to this yep. one web portal and everything happens there. You don't have any other, it's a shared device. You're not doing anything else on it. Yep. Um, so totally understand that use case for sure. So um, anyway, if this is something else you want to see, let us know. Um, um, and otherwise, uh, you know, drop us comments. Let us know what else what else you're interested in. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Exactly. Um, I'm certainly enjoying kind of stepping into the Android space and checking these things out. So it's pretty neat. Awesome. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks, Steve. See you around. Sell it up.